All right, guys, crazy couple days in crypto. You know, I thought about making a video yesterday when the whole SEC hack thing came out with the ETF, but I was just like, you know what? I don't even care. Like when I saw that news yesterday, I'm just like, not surprising. This is the SEC and much like every government organization, they're all pretty much unorganized, inept, and they have no idea what they're doing. So it's kind of interesting though that, you know, you, you're the SEC and you don't have two-factor authentication on your Twitter account. I mean, like I even have two-factor authentication on my like Yahoo Mail. I can't imagine where like you're the SEC, you know if somebody hacks your account, they can pretty much post whatever they want and manipulate the markets. And you're too lazy to even put out a phone number um, for two-factor authentication. So if you ever, if you had any like, you know, faith in the SEC, I mean, you have to kind of flush that down the toilet now. And according to Twitter, um, it was basically just a hack of the password. So if they had two-factor authentication, there wouldn't be any problems. As SEC says it did not yet approve Bitcoin ETF, X account was compromised. And of course, price action was crazy. Now, the, cra the cool thing about the price action is we initially got a pump, then we got a dump, which is what I expect to happen when we get this ETF approval. Then the SEC, of course, came out and said it was fake. Then Bitcoin went all the way down to like 45,000, but it was mainly Bitcoin. Not so much your altcoins. I was thinking about making a video about that last night, but I was like, whatever. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just wait and see where the dust settles. And now today is the day, you know, <laughs> where they're supposed to approve the ETF. So a lot of people think it's going to happen by like, you know, by the end of trading day today. I have no freaking idea. I don't even care anymore. But this volatility in Bitcoin is crazy. I mean, if you were trading this and you just got lucky, you could have made a lot of money. But overall, guys, uh, things are looking good. Ethereum's up. Um, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, Ethereum trades are up. So we're, we're probably going to see that that uh, run in Ethereum-based tokens. Another thing I want to talk about, you know, I made a video last week. I said, guys, Bitcoin, I said, Hex and Pulse Chain are probably at a bottom. And the only reason I even made a video is people were on my comments and they were just like, oh, you were promoting Hex, blah, blah, blah. I'm just like, guys, are you stupid? We haven't even gone into a bull market yet. Of course, Hex is going to pump, especially if Richard Hart decides to fight the case. So Hex and Pulse Chain were at like all time lows. And I said, now's the time to be getting into Hex and Pulse Chain. I said, I'm not buying anymore. But if you got balls and you like the project, now's the time. Within 48 hours, Hex and Pulse Chain start pumping. Hex is up uh, 40%. I think Pulse Chain is up like 50%, maybe even more. I'm going to check in a second. Let me see what Pulse Chain is doing. Yeah, Pulse Chain is up 30%. I think it's up 40% though for the week. And I told you guys, now is the time to be getting into Hex. And then the article came out yesterday. Let's see if I can find it. So now I said, I said Richard Hart will probably end up fighting the SEC. He's more of a fighter. He's not, he's not a pussy. So the article came out, was this today or yesterday? Anyway, Richard Hart reappears with high profile lawyer. In fact, Richard Hart's lawyer is the same lawyer that Elon Musk used to, um, to fight the SEC. And Elon Musk actually won. And he saved billions of dollars. So Richard Hart's lawyer requests a pre-motion conference summarizing their motion to dismiss the SEC claim. SEC charged Richard Hart with selling crypto assets called securities and misusing the proceeds. The price of HEX and other native cryptocurrencies have responded positively to this development. Richard Hart, the founder of HEX, see, whenever there's a big word, I can't, I can't read. What's this word? Engomatic? Yeah, so when I read these articles, if there's a word over my third grade uh, reading level, I just ignore it. Richard Hart, the founder of Hex, has resurfaced online with a defense against the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. Hart, represented by a gaggle, I love that word gaggle, of high-profile attorneys, has pushed back against the SEC allegations of securities fraud. Hart's legal team filed a letter to Judge Carol Bagley at the United States District Court. 
Richard Hart emerges with legal team to fight the SCC. So this is what we talked about last week. I said Richard Hart's probably going to fight it. I said his trial, I believe, was coming up in January. We're in January. And, you know, I stick by that. And all you guys on my comments telling me that I was like shilling a scam and all that. Guys, maybe maybe Paul Shane and Hex will do absolutely nothing. And maybe by this time next year, it'll all be zero. But you can't call something a dead project when we haven't even gone into a bull market yet. And we haven't even had the Bitcoin happening yet. I always liked Richard Hart. I always liked the advice he gave. Uh, unlike Rand Nooner, BitBoy, all these guys selling you a course, selling you a scam. Richard Hart basically just said, buy your coins, keep it in, keep it in cold storage, and sell it in the bull market. And he was he railed against Celsius, BlockFi, iTrust Capital. He's against the exchanges. Richard Hart has given all good advice. Now, did he take people? Did he take people's funds? And was it a security? I don't know. But I'm telling you, all the advice he gave was really, really good. Another thing I saw, um, Rand Nooner, I'm only playing this because uh, Tommy Tom Lee, who when I first got into crypto in 2017, I think Bitcoin was like, I forget what it was, but Tom Lee was calling for like a $25,000 Bitcoin and everybody made fun of him and he was right. He, Tom Lee also called the stock market 100% correct last year and they asked Tom Lee what his Bitcoin uh, price prediction is for the end of 2024 and it's a doozy, it's a doozy here which was 44,729 what this is telling you is that the ETF approval has already been priced in and that the next it's time for the next trade now does that mean we don't like Bitcoin no that doesn't mean we don't like Bitcoin in fact yesterday I did an interview for Business Insider and they asked me what do you think is going to be the price of Bitcoin at the end of 2024 and I said look it's going to be minimum 100,000. I'd be very disappointed if it was under 150,000 because if in this cycle we don't go to at least two and a half X where we were on the last cycle, then that's like, why are we here? I saw that that sentiment was actually echoed by Tommy Lee um, in an interview. So maybe just listen to what, to what Tommy Lee says here. That's yeah, that's what, that's what, yeah, that's what you're saying. It was transitory all along. It was, yes. it wasn't, it was, it is, it wasn't it. So now we decided we're back to that. Okay, so yeah. just to, to end on, give me your um, your one year and five year price target for Bitcoin. Uh, I think in the next 12 months, uh, something over 100,000, you know, maybe 150,000. And, you know, in the next five years, again, it's, you know, it's a there's a finite supply, but now we have a, potentially huge increase in demand with a spot Bitcoin approval. So I think in five years, you, you know, something around half a million would be potentially achievable. It's all just... Yeah, so that's insane. And this is a guy I respect. You guys know I don't respect Rand Nooner, but Tommy Lee was the guy when we were in the bear market and I was like, should I sell all of my coins? This is like 2018, 2019. Like, and when COVID hit, I was like, my words of wisdom were from one guy and it was Tom Lee. And he really saved me. He really saved me from getting out of crypto. And he's always right. Sometimes his time frame is off a little bit. And he's calling for $150,000 Bitcoin by the end of 2024. I don't think we're going to be that high, but we could. I mean, I think that's like best case scenario for me. If I was in, in Bitcoin, which I am, I'd probably be getting out around 100,000, 120,000. I'd be like almost completely out. But there could be a quick spike up to 150,000. And it is nice to see that because a lot of people respect Tom Lee. And him putting out that price prediction, actually him just putting out that price prediction could make Bitcoin hit 150,000 because people just might not sell. He's a, he's a very respected person in the finance world. And like I said, he called the stock market, everybody was calling for a recession in the stock market last year, including myself, I think, I don't remember. And Tom Lee was saying, we're gonna be all time highs, blah, 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 and we were. And now Tom Lee has really become like anointed a saint in the finance world. So he's calling for 150, not too shabby. Another thing I want to talk about with Rand Nooner, since we're talking about Rand Nooner, you know, I was talking, I made my video a couple of days ago talking about how if, if somebody's selling you a course, they're pretty much a scammer. 
Well, now not only is Rand Nooner selling you a course, he also has a testimonial thing, which is the most fake thing. It reminds me of like those 1990s Don LaPree, Carlton Sheets real estate courses. I mean, I don't know what's going on with Rand Nooner. He's just such a scammer. I know he's a smart guy and I know he has a pretty good gauge in the market sometime, but you guys got to see this freaking... Um, testimonial thing. So what Rand Nooner is trying to do is he has this free trading school and it's not really free because it's one of those things where you sign up for it, but the whole time he's bombarding you with his sponsorships. And of course, in order to do the trading school, you have to do Bybit, which is his main sponsor. See, Rand Nooner is controlled by Bybit. So you do the free trading school, which isn't free, and they just start selling his stuff. You sign up for Bybit and just by you signing up and trading, Bybit is making fees. So there's nothing free in life. Um, you know, it's like one of those things like where you buy like a timeshare or something and, you, and then they make you go to that stupid tour and they tell you it's a free tour and then they'll give you like some free, uh, tchotchkes afterward. Well, that's kind of what his trading school is. I don't know, Rand Nooner is just your typical, I'm not even going to say it, but he's like, I don't want to sound anti-Semitic, but Rand Nooner is your typical fucking J word. I'm telling you who he is and I have no problems with him, but he really is the stereotype. I mean, the only thing he's missing is horns. But anyway, you guys got to watch this. Let me find it. All right, if this isn't the most douchey thing you've ever seen in your life, and he's the thing. The thing about Rand is he's so blatant with it. Now his trading school also is run by this Sheldon Sniper guy. When I, I guys, I run like twelve miles every day, and I I listen to all this garbage because there's nothing else to listen to. Like I would say the Sniper. Um, I I listen to his his uh, his show early in the morning. Like he's wrong eighty percent of the time. He's just like a guy rambling for an hour. Like, there's no way people are making money. But anyways, you got to listen to this. Being course. Literally, it's free. It's a fucking free trading course. No, it's not. The trading free. course has changed so many lives and made so many people rich that it, this is what we do. We change lives. J just listen to this. Just listen to this. Before sniper school, I was just a regular dude, just a nine to five type guy. I worked construction. I've been in this market. I've, I've lost so much money. So I made a little bit of money and then you never think that it's ever going to stop running, right? Didn't diversify enough, had a lot in Luna. I pulled out $12,500 from my retirement. Today I've got 117000 17290 My trading account that I used for sniper school, I just put in the $250. And you know, now that's well over three grand. So, so I joined sniper school. Guys, is this the most scammy thing you ever say? In? I mean, he really has stooped down to like like new lows. And like I said, it reminds me of Carlton Sheets, Don LaPree. All right, guys. Now here is Don LaPree from the 90s. If this isn't like, like I said, guys, I made a video a couple days ago. Like the scammers are all like, this is like your typical 90s scam infomercial. Now compare this to um, to Rand Nooner's video you just watched. Don LaPree, known scammer, went to jail, then he committed suicide. The newspapers, just like I did. Was it uh, half as easy as I said it was going to be? It's unbelievable. <laughs> The first time I'm, the checks were in the mailbox, I could not believe it. Just by ordering the making money package, by placing one tiny ad after another, you have generated over two hundred thousand dollars in five months. It don't even sound right. <laughs> Does it? How long did it take you from the day you got the making money package before you you took an ad, you placed it in the newspaper, and you saw the results? How long did it take you? No more than four or five days. And how did it do? Phenomenal. Anyway, guys, like this really is <laughs> TV pitchman found dead in jail. This this is this is the road that Rand Nooner's going down. So that's the thing with Rand Nooner, like he's a smart guy. Like, why does he have to go down this road of just being a complete shilling scammer? Like, isn't the money he has enough? Like he has to make that little bit extra money being a scammer. But anyway, total scammer, beware. Even though I like to play some of the videos sometimes, you can get good information from Rand Nooner. You just have to realize he's a complete scammer. All right, what else did I want to talk about? We talked about Polish Chain. Um, talk about Litecoin a little bit. You know, Litecoin, this article came out, Litecoin flips Bitcoin on its front again. Litecoin scooped up a big portion of Bitcoin's market share in December. Uh, Litecoin, uh, Bitcoin again, as tracked by world's largest payment processor, BitPay. So the thing with Litecoin is a lot of people say like, oh, Litecoin sucks. Litecoin's not used for anything. Guys, Litecoin's like the one cryptocurrency right now that actually has a use case. Payments. 
Duh, that's what it was created to do. Litecoin is the number one crypto for payments. I know it doesn't sound sexy. It's not like being shilled, but if you're if you're like using if you're looking for a coin to use for payments, and a lot of people are, it's going to be Litecoin, and that's why I do think Litecoin's probably going to be between five and eight hundred dollars um, at the end of the summer. So don't sleep on Litecoin. I know it's kind of like a sleeping giant. It does this every freaking bull market. We're not even in a bull market yet. We haven't even had the happening yet. But guys, once Litecoin starts running, it's going to run. And we'll finish off, you know, with BitBoy. As you guys know, BitBoy was at the SEC headquarters uh, yesterday or two days ago with a sign that says, I'm not leaving until the Bitcoin ETF. And then, of course, right after that, the SEC gets hacked. So uh, I don't know, guys. Like, like I said, Bit, BitBoy is just kind of like he's like a train wreck. Everything he goes near gets destroyed, his family, his wife, his marriage, his finances and now he goes to the sec and the sec gets hacked i'm not blaming bitboy for that but i'm just saying like he's one of these guys that like you just you try to keep him on your good side because it's not worth like fighting with him like bitboy is the kind of guy like if he was my neighbor i would not talk shit about him i wouldn't say anything negative about him because it's just not worth it i would just be like hey bitboy good to see you man blah 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 like make small talk with him you do not want this crackhead on your bad side because he will bring you so much misery. So that's the BitBoy news. Not too much. Uh, let's take a look at the markets one more time. Yeah, I mean, Bitcoin's been pumping like a couple thousand dollars for the last 24 hours. Like I said, great trade right now. Um, the next trade is probably going to be Ethereum tokens, Hex, Pulse Chain. But um, I'm going to stick to what I've been originally saying. We get the we get the ETA, ETF approval at the end of the day. We'll probably get like a $48,000 Bitcoin, maybe forty nine, and then we'll probably level out and probably go sideways for the next month or two leading up to that happening. All right, guys, like and subscribe. Talk to you later.